what's going on guys i am back with another video um this time i wanted to real quick go over a couple extra combos um i didn't fit them into the last video because they were gonna make the video a little too long so i decided to just upload a separate video so we're gonna be going over two combos in this and they're very similar but i just wanted to show like the different route that you can take towards the end so yeah let's get started we're gonna normal summon aratama we're going to activate it to add Sakitama. We're going to use Sakitama to normal summon itself. And then we're going to go into rank 4 Infernal Flame Banshee. And we're going to detach one material to add Populous. Then we're going to go Populous, special summon itself. We're going to add the original Sinful Spoil Snake Eye. And then we're going to link off into IP Mascarina. Then we're going to use the Populous to put itself back in the uh, Spell and Trap Zone. And then we're going to use the original Sinful Spoils to send it to the grave to then special summon the Snake Eye Ash. And we're going to activate the Ash to add the Birch. We're going to special summon Birch. And then we're going to use the Ash, uh, sending the Birch and itself to go into Flame Birch. And we're going to link into Promethean Princess. And then we're going to go Flamberge effect because it was sent to the grave and we have two level one fires in the grave. We're going to special summon them. And then we're going to use the Promethean Princess to special summon the Flamberge. Flamberge is going to put the IP back in the spell and trap zone. And then at that point, instead of going into the Amblo Whale, we're going to go into the Sunlight Wolf because we still have a level one on the field. So we're going to use the level one to then go into the Link Karibo under it. So that allows us to add a card back to our hand. We have Ash in our grave, so we're going to add that back to our hand. That gives us another starter to use on our turn. And we're going to link off into the Heat Soul. And we're going to activate the Heat Soul to draw a card. And then we're going to end our turn. So it might not look like we have anything here, but we have the Flamberge. So then special summon the IP. So this is where the two uh, combos are going to kind of differentiate. During the opponent's draw phase, we're going to activate the Flamberge and then draw a card off of the, the Heat Soul. So we have IP plus two other monsters on the board. And guess what we're going to do with that? The moment we can, we're going to use it to go into Appaloosa. We could also use it to go into Underworld Goddess, depending on the situation. Keep that in mind. We're going to activate the Flamberge to bring back two fires. And then we're going to activate the Populous to add another card to our hand. And we're going to activate the Birch to then send the Populous to special summon another uh, Snake Eyes from the deck. We're going to special summon the Ash. Then we're going to activate the Populous to put itself in the Spell and Trap Zone. Um, just because, you know, it's, it might be better there, just so it can't get banished. Um, then we're going to activate the Snake Eye Ash. So at this point, if your opponent threatens to go into the battle phase to get rid of your Appaloosa for any reason, like let's say they have a Abyss Duo on the board, and they were able to get it on the board through the Appaloosa, you would be able to go Link Karibo to then tribute itself off if that monster attacks and and protect the Appaloosa from that monster. So keep that in mind. But really what you want to do is you want to keep the Ash on the board. That way you have it as material to pop with Promethean Princess. So what does this give you? This gives you Appaloosa, Promethean Princess, and it gives you five cards in your hand at the end of all of it so these could all be hand traps well not all of them the triple the two triple tax are our draws so these could be hand traps you never know um and then plus you still have four other cards in your hand so right now technically you have nine cards in your hand if your if your opponent hasn't interrupted you now let's move on to the next combo 
All right, so this is going to be the next combo, and this is going to be very, very similar. Um, the only difference is going to be towards the end, so I'm actually probably going to skip to to where uh, the combo changes up. All right, so it's the opponent's turn. We're going to activate the Flamberge to put the IP into the main monster zone. You want to put it under the Heat Soul just so the Heat Soul has more attack. And then we're actually going to go into the Pit Knight early this time instead of the Apo. So we haven't drawn with the Heat Soul yet. So the Heat Soul actually basically makes our Pit Knight early a quick effect. So what we're going to do here is we're going to wait for them to, to use it in some way. And this is also going to get us our five cards in our hand the same way the last combo did. Alright, so they're going to activate the Infernal Flame Banshee, um, and then we're going to activate the Heat Soul in order to trigger our early. And then they don't have any response, so we're going to go early to then negate the Flame Banshee and put it to zero. And then we're going to draw our card off of the Heat Soul. So we still have the Promethean Princess in the grave, and then... You know, we have five cards in our hand, plus the four that we started with that we didn't use. And we have the early. And then, you know, the Heat Soul is 3,300. So how the heck are they going to get over that? So, yeah. I mean, considering we run, like, 12 hand traps, there's almost no chance that we don't have, like, five or six interruptions in our hand at least. At least. So yeah, that's going to be this video. If you guys liked it, like and subscribe. Um, tell me if I missed anything, if there's something else that I could have done. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this stuff, or if you guys want me to pivot to something else. And I'm out. Peace.